welcome back to another vlog. We are here in another Disney day. We're back in a park. Can you guess which one we're in? That's right, we're in Animal Kingdom. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah, we have a lot of things on the to-do list today. We want to look for merch. We want to see animals. That's Abby's big one. And we want to try to get to Pandora and see if we can ride those rides. Uh, it's about 8.30, so we're a little bit into park open now. Um, the park opened at 8, so let's just see what fun we can get into. Let's go. the beautiful tree of life. Abby! Yeah, we haven't seen this in so long. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty and crowds are already looking better than they were at Epcot the other day, so yay! Okay, so we just uh, went to, what is it called? Is it Island Mercantile or is it the other so. side? Anyways, one of the main shops right in front of the Tree of Life and they, we were told there that they have the wishable pins at the cart in Africa. So that's where we're heading. Um, oh, just noticed there's one of the relaxation stations right here outside of Pizza Safari. We may need that later, so <laughs> jog that in the memory. So we're heading to Africa to look for those pins and then we may ride the safari right after that because somebody's really excited to see the animals. <laughs> I love this part too. It's a good ride. I guess it's an experience. It's an experience. <laughs> I think we are one of the first few into Africa. So this Did family right in front of us. The family right in front of us, but otherwise we pretty much have it to ourselves. What do you think about all this power? <laughs> I feel like I'm free to jam on. Because <laughs> they got the music pumping. First stop, Kilimanjaro Safaris. Let's go see some animals. So coming into the ride, there are six foot lines through the queue. It says it's a five minute wait on the app. So let's see if that is indeed true. But it is kind of a winding queue. So it may take five minutes just to walk through the queue. So on this last part of the queue here, they put up the metal and, and um, plexiglass dividers so that you're not standing super close to the party next to you. Let's see how the loading goes. Just so you know, in the I'm safari, so. we're seated every other row, Amazing and animals. they have these clear I'm just waiting for the all clear from the warden. Dividers in get the go ahead. one, and we're in the back. So we got the back seat, which I kind of love. There you go. Alright, you can't miss that mane on that male lion. Consists of 40 pounds of hair. <laughs> Talk about an upkeep. That mane does get darker with age, stating his dominance to the other male lions. The lions also have a special padding on the bottom of their paws that allow for great traction when they are hunting. Sadly, there are only 20,000 of them left in the wild today. That's 50% decrease from the first Lion King movie that came out in 1994. All right, so we just got off of the safari. What are your thoughts? I'm kind of disappointed. I, I, Not just that sounded really whiny. I'm kind of disappointed. <laughs> well, we. I don't know, with the barriers, I did feel really safe on it. I yeah. felt like there, what we weren't near people, we weren't getting anybody else's germs, it was a lot of fresh air coming through, so that was good. But with the dividers that they've put in, it's so hard to see anything. Like, you could see the animals straight out and you could see them straight out each way, but you can't see anything catty corner. Right. And with the certain driver that we had, she did not stop, like for stop anything. For like <laughs> and so we really couldn't see anything. So the only good clip I think I got was the lions. So 
if you're wondering why we didn't film anything in this the we tried. safari, we couldn't. It was so bumpy and jerky. I was holding on to the camera for dear life because I didn't want to lose you guys over the side. And because they don't pack the pews or the seat, the rows in anymore, <laughs> because they don't pack them, it's only your group. And we were sliding all over the place. And it was just difficult. So uh, definitely not in the top five or seven no. best the safaris that we've had. Were definitely awake and moving around. But there but weren't we as many. We didn't stop long enough to see them is what I felt like. No, but even then, like I felt like they just we just couldn't see any. And so it just was a real bummer. The only thing I feel like we could see was the lions. So And the giraffes. Definitely. But, but no, we couldn't even film them because we weren't stopping to where we could film them. So it was just like kind of a bummer, honestly. So we got whatever footage we could and we'll show you whatever we can, whatever we have. We'll probably do um, it again later. <laughs> maybe, yeah. And hopefully, and honestly, it was so jerky and bumpy. I feel really awful now. My hips yeah, hurt I so feel bad. Really weird. I was like clenched the whole like time. I feel like I've got like sea legs. I'm like wobbling. Well, like I think my whole body was like tense to try to like keep me upright and now I'm just like ugh. Which we expect so, that to a certain extent because that's just how the trucks are. But, yeah like, but it not to this today. level. I don't know it was weird. I was like I was I was afraid I was gonna lose something over the edge honestly so yeah definitely a struggle. This was not the best safari. We might try again later and, and try to get a better experience but I'm gonna need a while to kind of walk this off because it was <laughs> it was kind of rough. the Gorilla Falls trek and the animals were pretty active in there so we got mm -hmm. some good footage of the animals so we're heading to Pandora to check out how many rides we can get on for not very long <laughs> hopefully the lines won't be too long it is almost 10 like 5 till 10 so Doing pretty good for our morning. Mm -hmm. So I was told to talk about the animals, so I'm gonna do that. Um, I love the animals. This is why I wanted to come to Animal Kingdom. And usually, it, it stayed true that usually um, they're most active in the morning. So they were definitely up and about. But like Hope said, the safari was kind of disappointing, but not in the animals part. So, but I love the Gorilla Falls trek. It's one of my favorite um, places to see animals around here. Cause you see meerkats and okapi and all of my faves. So yeah, loved that. This is the kind of wide open Animal Kingdom spacing that we like. Yeah. Honestly, the crowds today aren't too bad, but people keep stopping. Yeah, like in, in the, the middle, middle, which is not uncommon for Disney. That and not uncommon for Animal time. Kingdom. I mean, I understand when you're looking crazy. at an animal, but most of them are not. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely kind of annoying sometimes. But I will say this open. Space. I've felt more safe here than at Epcot so far, but it was also opening day at Epcot and we didn't come to opening day of Animal Kingdom, so that might have something to do with it as well. But there it is, the bridge to Pandora. Okay, so here is a look at walking into Pandora. I would say the crowd level in here is actually really great. There's not that many, but the people are having a little bit of a hard time social distancing. Um, it's just I don't know they're acting very normal like spreading and coming close to you even when they don't need to and so um yeah there are good amounts of space to social distance so I'm just finding myself having to avoid and walk around people a lot because they're not paying attention but not really a surprise there but Pandora looks beautiful today look at the floating mountains <laughs> This is actually the first time I've been back in Pandora in probably about six or seven months. It's been quite a while, so I'm excited to be back. All right, so I started my timer. I'm in the line for um, Flight of Passage, so we're gonna see if everybody social distances and follows the lines. 
on the ground, we shall see. Hey, so far it's been straight walk on and we haven't had to stop and we're now entering the um, bottle refill area. Although don't use the bottle refills right now because germs. Such a pretty queue though. I love, I love this ride. It's been so long since I've been on it because the lines are usually outrageous. So I'm excited for this. Can you guys see my hat glow? Am I glowing? <laughs> so we're in the laboratory room and this is the first time that I've had to stop in this queue um, and stay on each line. Um, Abby did not want to come do Flight of Passage with me just because for her own safety reasons she um, didn't feel comfortable coming in the enclosed space which I'm... Did water just drip on my camera? Rude. Um, so like I totally understand that. We, we rode Soren the other day and I felt very uncomfortable but I'm hoping that uh, Flight of Passage will redeem that and that they've got a really good system down. So we shall see. I'm willing to give it the benefit of the doubt. Okay, so up into the loading docks here, you can see they're really only filling the outer two lines, even though they do have the dividers between each one. And then of course, they have the social distancing lines on the floor, so just stand on your line to find your safe distance. Um, and yeah, the, the middle two aren't full right now, um, which is kind of nice, actually. I like to have that space in between. No direction here. I don't know if we're supposed to like stay on our dots or whatever. But they just left us alone in this chamber. What are we supposed to do? All right, so I just got off of Flight of Passage and I found a little bench over here in Pandora away from everyone so that I can kind of give you guys my thoughts about the ride. So, firstly, um, it, the estimated wait time was 10 minutes and it was dead on. It was 10 minutes to the dot from when we walked into the queue for the first time to when we sat and uh, began the ride. So honestly, it was a walk on. It was 10 minutes of walking through the queue, which I loved. There was, we didn't have to stop at all. It was constantly moving, constantly flowing. So excellent for that. Um, I would say generally speaking, people did a good job of social distancing. Um, and uh, I was very aware of the people in front of me and the person behind me making sure that they were staying six feet away. And um, the group that I was in, we really did. Um, I don't know about every group if that would be that way, because it all depends on the people and how close they want to get. So, um, when we got into the linking chamber, I believe is what it's called, they only put two to three parties in each one of those. Normally there's 17 or 18 people in there. Um, and so there were little dots on the floor. And so we literally just got to stand on our dot as a group. And there was only four people in our link chamber, um, including me. So that was kind of awesome. I loved that. We were pretty far apart. Um, they do the normal spiel part where the lady comes on and tells you about linking to the Banshees. Um, but there was no actual linking time. So we didn't get linked to an Avi. We just literally walked in. So here's where the, the issues start coming. They did not give us any, and I mean zero, instruction on what to do after that. There was no cast member there. They just opened the doors. So the group in front of us is like, I guess we're supposed to go through the open door. They cut out the second room, you know, the room where you go in, they tell you all of the instructions on how to actually sit on your banshee, put your stuff. They cut all of that out. We actually walked straight from the linking chamber into the room with the seats, which I thought was kind of cool. I like it being more efficient, but they didn't give us any extra instruction on basically anything. So we, we didn't know how to get there. We just were kind of like, I guess we just walked through this hallway and then I guess we walked through that door. It was kind of confusing. We got to the to the seat, sitting room eventually and it tells you to put your stuff in the bins. But here's where the issue comes, is that they didn't tell us how to put them in the bins to make them secure. So we just put all our stuff in the bins, you know, like normally you would. And then we went to sit on our little ride vehicles, I guess. And this was when it became very unsafe in my opinion as far as like germs go because the cast member went along and I'm to every single person in our room, which by the way, we were sitting every other seat. So like one group would be here and then there was a chair in between and then a group over here, there was a chair in between, which being one chair apart from a stranger is not six feet. So I was still closer to the person 
the other person than I necessarily wanted to be, but um, that's besides the point. So the cast member goes and literally touches every single person's item in the bins to make sure that they're like down and secure. And this goes for everything. She touched my glasses. She touched my hat, she touched my bag, she touched a water bottle, literally the top part of the water bottle to lay it down. Like, I felt so incredibly violated. After that, like, the ride started, and the ride itself, the glasses that they have you put on, the 3D whatever glasses, um, they do sanitize them between each day and you only one person every day uses those glasses so i had my fresh pair of glasses i put them on and then they go into a bin they don't reuse those at all this day and then they'll wash them tonight and reuse them tomorrow so i do like that i was the only person in those glasses today however um something with trying to put those 3d glasses on over your masks it didn't actually sit right i for whatever reason, my glasses, I was still seeing everything all fuzzy, you know, like you do when it's 3D, but you're not seeing through the 3D glasses. That's kind of the feeling I got. I couldn't really see very well. Um, and if you've ever been on Flight of Passage, you know there are big gusts of wind that come throughout the whole ride, which on a hot day does feel really good. However, when we're in this time, I just did not like having a gust of wind coming from past other people to me. So, all that being said, Flight of Passage was a one and done for me. Um, I will not be back on for a while until they can be more safe and get everything, you know, but more, until they can be more clear, I think. So, um, one thing that I did love is after we got off the ride, I, I was actually the last person of the entire group to leave based on where my chair was. And so I was able to social distance from the people who are flooding out, which I loved, that was great. Um, and after you get on the ride, basically the ride is a, a walk-on right now. So they ask you like, if you would like to ride again, you can turn right here. Or if you want to exit the ride, you can turn left here. And I did really like that. So if you do want to ride again, you can go straight to the right. You don't have to walk all the way back out and do the queue all over again. So I did really like the efficiency of the line, the fact that it was literally a walk-on because when else are you gonna get Flight of Passage as a walk-on? And I did like that you could ride it as many times as you liked. So there are my positives and my negatives about the ride. Like I said before in this vlog, like do what makes you feel safe. And for Abby, she did not feel safe riding it. For me, I will not be riding it again because I did not feel safe in certain parts of it. So that is my two cents. Um, I just want to like let you guys know my experience and what I thought. So now I think we're going to be heading out of Pandora. I'm personally getting hungry, so we might try to find something to eat. And I will catch back up with Abby. We caught a cavalcade! Hi, Nikki! Like we said, we were just heading out of Pandora and the Animal Kingdom Cavalcade came out. It was so awesome. So it was Minnie, Mickey, and Pluto in a raft in like a boat floating down the river. It was so cool. You can, um, they did have where you could like stand up against the walls and then turn around and like at the right moment you can take a picture with them right behind you. So you could actually get like a selfie or like a picture with them, which I think is really cool. So I'm so glad we got to see that. We finally found a pin board. We've been looking for so many, so many days and we finally found one. Oh my gosh, so cute. Right, so I found her. She was over in a relaxation I was station. A grand time. Yeah, I, well, I wish we had two cameras because then you could have shown it. So I'm going to go ahead and pass the camera to her. I'm going to go you. ride Everest and I'm going to go and report back to you guys what I see, but I'm going to give her the camera because I think you're going to go look at some more We're going to go right? see some tigers. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> so I'm going to go ride Everest because she has already done it twice. If you want to see that, I've done it link twice above. for you guys and that was too link many times. Link them up to so. see Abby riding Everest because she will probably never do it again. So. I'm gonna go ride Everest. I'm excited because it's an open air ride, so I, I'm hopeful that I will feel a lot safer on that ride, but we shall see. So I'm gonna go ride it. You're gonna go look at some yep, animals, let's and go. we'll be back up later. All right, so unfortunate turn of events. Everest is closed. 
they said technical difficulties. So I don't know what that means. Anyway, so we could not ride that. So now we're gonna go get some lunch because we're getting pretty hungry and definitely need some water and, and some hydration. So we're gonna go do that and then I think we're gonna come back and do some more of the animal treks. Um, yeah, so that's the plan. It's so hot, y'all. It is so hot. It is July in Florida. And we're doing the best we can, but it is. It's a little sweltering. <laughs> so I'm gonna talk quick because I know we're gonna get copyrighted by this music, but we're sitting here outside of Dino Restaurantosaurus yep. <laughs> and we mobile ordered our food. So I'm gonna go through the mobile order process and then let you guys know uh, how it was like, what it was like. I'm over here by myself, that's why my mask's off. And don't look at my sweaty face. All right, y'all, does this not look amazing? So we are at the, actually the sitting area outside of the Dino Bites, which is the ice, ice cream place outside of Restaurantosaurus. Whew, that was a lot to say. But we're sitting here at a table and we got our food. So we got a cheeseburger with french fries, chicken nuggets with french fries, and an extra french fry because could we get food without an extra french fry? Well, we just wanna make sure we had plenty. That's really, really all. Um, but this will actually be our very first time tasting Disney french fries since about four and a half months ago. So I cannot wait for this. It's going to be like the best moment of my life. I cannot wait. Right. Well, we kind of destroyed the french fries. Turns out Much that like a, full, dinosaurs. a full adult meal and an extra fry is just the amount of fries for us. <laughs> Which we knew, we should have known. Go yeah. <laughs> um, and also, I did want to let you guys know we're going to be trying to do more of these lives in the parks. Yeah. So coming up, check our Instagram. We will link it in the description. Go follow us there so you can be a part of these lives when we do them because we'll let you know exactly when through that. All right, so we are in Dino Land, and we're right in the primeval world. So you find the dot, stand on it, and then you can look at the board and see which pins you'd like. So you actually tell the cast member which one you'd like, and then you just insert it into the bucket, and then they'll give you a new back for your new pin. That way you don't have to touch uh, one that anybody else has touched. So that is amazing. And this is the second one we found today. So very cool. Awesome. So we are at Discovery Trading Company and we found another board outside. So again, you just put your pins in the bucket with the backs on and then they will give you um, the pin off the board and you keep your back and put it on the pin. So pretty cool. Thank you so much. Actually, every board has been different as opposed to which one how the rules work it depends on the cast member i guess but some of them you keep the back on the pin and they'll give you a new back for the pin that you're trading for oh here we go dance party um so that's what happens with some of them and then others uh you keep your back and just trade the pin and put the back back on. So it's different with each one. We just got to the relaxation station and we are filming a um, live. So I've got our little setup set up over here. We just found kind of a table in the shade away from everybody else. And we've got the phone all set up. We're ready to go live. And mask it off, which honestly feels really good. Now feels gonna, good to be able to breathe. We're gonna have to put them back on when we leave. So Unfortunately. Okay. Good for safety. Be safe. Yes, be safe. All right, y'all. So we are still in the relaxation station. This has been very productive for us. We've got a lot done here. Oh. Um, so we went live on Instagram. So if you followed us there, thank you so much for hanging out with us in Animal Kingdom. Then we also filmed a pin opening of the brand new Animal Kingdom mystery boxes. Yee. So if you want to see that video, it's going to be coming up soon. So when it does, we will link it up here in a card so that you can check it out, see which pins we got pretty darn excited. So that's all I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> and then um, we went to Starbucks and got some water because it's really important to hydrate, especially in this heat. Um, and yeah, so we went, got Starbucks and now we're back here in the relaxation station. And yes, we also got dessert from Starbucks. So I'll show you that. All right, so these are the um, desserts that we got from Starbucks. So I love the Starbucks in the parks. They say Disney parks on them. So we got the lemon loaf, which looks like a lemon cake with like a glaze on it. Looks delicious. 
And then the true Disney magic, I think this you can get at other Starbucks too, because yeah. I think I've had it before. Mm -hmm. And then this is a Disney special thing, and it is a cupcake. It's a chocolate cupcake um, with frosting on top, and then it has cute white chocolate mini ears on it. I've gone rogue. I'm still on the camera. Not really. Hope I had some shopping to do. So, she gave me the camera, sent me off to Asia, because I want to do the Maharaja Jungle Trek. Hopefully you can hear me. The wind might cut all this out, but it's very breezy. <laughs> um, anyway, so I am going to Asia. I'm going to Maharaja. I'm going to see the tigers because I want to see some tigers. Hopefully they're there. Let's hope they're there. But anyway, this is the first time I've used. There's a fun little feature on my Disney experience. Again, hopefully all of this is usable. The wind might cut it all out. But there's a fun little feature on the My Disney Experience app. If you put in an experience or a ride or a meet and greet, whatever. We have a bridge crosser. Bridge crosser, welcome to the bridge. Woo! Oh, thank you. There is a slim 100% chance survival rate. Yay. That's a good survival rate. Survive. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> so, um, Oh, there's a fun little thing on the My Disney Experience app I was going to tell you before I became a bridge crosser. That if you put in an attraction or experience or a dining place, whatever, in the search bar, you can get directions. And it'll show you how to get there. It'll tell you where to turn and all that stuff. So in my case, I wanted to make sure the way I was going was actually the best way to get there. Because I thought it was the way I knew. but. Turns out I was wrong. I would have gone the long way and I didn't want to do that. So now I've hit the shortcut and now here we are in Asia. And I'm out of breath. <laughs> I don't need to walk that fast. I need to learn how to slow down. Anyway, let's see if the monkeys are out. They were out in fourth earlier. <coughs> That's just a child. Okay. Yay. Hi. Thank you. Let's go. So if you don't know, if you're new to Animal Kingdom, there are two exploration trails, walking trails. There's Africa, which is Gorilla Falls, and then there's Maharaja, which is in Asia. We have our Komodo dragon tia in here. She is front and center, right behind that log there. She knows how to camouflage. Oh, I was like, I feel blind. I feel like I should see her. There she is. <laughs> she is really good at that camouflage. Check her out. Yeah. Wow. Hi, Tia. Check them out through the fog and dark of night. The bats are back. <laughs> they're sleeping. So I'll leave them to rest, but I'm glad they're back. Hello. It's nest building season, baby. Y'all, this camera's not zoomed in at all. I'm just holding it. Oh, oh the drama. Oh. <laughs> oh, the drama. Excuse me, excuse me. Very nice to see you. Excuse me, please. All right, I'm gonna get out of here because I don't like the sound. Oh, that's splattering. Now, I can't remember. I've, it's been a while since I've done Maharaja Jungle Trek, but I feel like I might have already passed the tigers and there was no tigers in the exhibit. Which, heavy door, makes me think. Perhaps I have not seen a tiger. It's my babes! I love them! Yes! Kilimanjaro safaris again! Round two, round two, here we go! Elephant, sorry, giraffe. I'm sorry, the giraffe caught my attention, okay. Just cut me right off. Sorry, continue. Say what you want to say. Anyway, um... We're going round two, but this morning it was like at 8.30 in the morning, and now it's like three four, something, yeah, almost four. four. So it'll be interesting to see the difference with the animals, and hopefully we get a better try. <laughs> There's some bathing in the road. Get out of the road. <laughs>
Yeah, man, that's the stuff. <laughs> okay, guys, so that's the end of our day. We just did Kilimanjaro Safaris for the second time. So, so much, much better, better than the first time. Yeah, I think so our, much our driver was more experienced sounding. Um, it was he so much smoother. He great. actually stopped the animals. The animals were really active. Mm -hmm. This giraffe literally came up to the, like, our... He was ready to cross literally. the street as soon as we moved. <laughs> no, he was, like, coming up. He was not afraid. I no, you yeah. could have, like... Reached, reached out and touched, touched him. him. Yeah, yeah, it was amazing. I didn't though, because that's um, not good. No, but you could have. Um, and yeah, it was just really, really good. I think what we might do is we're gonna insert the best of the animal footage in the vlog, but we may go ahead and put, because we've gotten so much animal footage today, and in a vlog it might be too much, so we might post a separate video of just all the animal footage, so if you want to see the animals, you can, but it won't like okay. be with mixed in the vlog. If you want to see all the animals that we saw today, we'll do it in a separate video. So that is it for this video. We are gonna have lots more vlogs coming because we've got more park reservations mm -hmm. ahead. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more Disney magic. Be sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos from us. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.